For those of us in the truth-seeking movement, we have learned that these uh, evildoers will tell us what they're going to do before they do it. Indirectly, but they'll, they will say it. They will show us. And not just in what they say, but in the entertainment branch of their network. For example, um, the Titanic. There is a book that came out 14 years before the Titanic sank. And it, the book was called The Titan. I had this book. I read it. And it was about the exact same thing, just named differently and had a nice little story to go along with this little girl and the captain and all that. That's great. But the same thing still happened. There was a book about uh, the Oklahoma City bombing a year before it came out. Uh, it was Timothy McVeigh that did the actual bombing or frame for it, whatever. Uh, and... But in the book, it was, his name was Tim Vey or something like that. It was slightly different. Of course, you're familiar with all the 9-11 programming ahead of time, because a lot of us have actually seen that, especially after the fact. We've also seen this type of programming for the virus, for alien disclosure, uh, even for the Civil War. Go through the Captain America Civil War movie or any of those Marvel movies, they have a lot of programming, symbolism, themes, messaging, and all of that. But it's Disney. What do you expect? So why do I bring this up? Well, I'm not a big fan of The Simpsons. But I've seen people on uh, the YouTube there uh, do their YouTube videos on The Simpsons saying, Wow, they predicted all this stuff. And one of those predictions they said was Trump being president. But we know better than that. It's not a prediction. It was a part of the plan. The guy that writes The Simpsons knows the plan. So that plan has been in place for years for Trump to be president. So how was it a fluke that he all of a sudden surpassed all the odds to become president back in 2016? It was already a part of the plan. It's still a part of this rigged system. You don't have to rig an election if the candidates themselves are rigged. So that should be one of those clues that he is one of them. Recently I heard a woman on an interview working on the election audits that the election might be overturned when completed. She was concerned that it might cause a civil war. Ding, 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 ding. Yes, she is correct. That's why the election fraud was made to be so blatant. It was supposed to be the catalyst for civil unrest. While at the same time being covered up for another section of the population. Another divide for the nation's population. So if all the candidates are in on the scam, why bother to make the election fraud so obvious if not to create more anger and division? A stage show wouldn't be necessary if the candidates themselves were already rigged. Many people have looked into Gates and Fauci's past, their family trees, to find out more about them. Doing the same with Trump, you can learn more about him. Other people have done this also. And what we discover is that his uncle uh, was interested in Nikola Tesla. Uh, he took his technologies and sent his ashes back to Budapest. Uh, his uncle, Joe, was a part of uh, microwave studies, part of the government. Uh, I forget the, the exact microwave committee and uh, Office of Alien Technologies. So if we remember what some of Nikola Tesla was studying, millimeter waves, microwaves, radio waves, uh, we understand why his uncle would have an interest. Looking forward, I can understand why Trump would have an interest. That's why he signed the 5G bill, because the 5G technology involves millimeter waves. And so, there's a connection. Now, I know there are, again, there are fans of Alex Jones out there, and they probably saw that one of his reporters put out a report on this particular subject, but to me it didn't go far enough. And I'd already looked this up before they put out the report anyway. Uh, so I, it almost seemed like they're trying to run cover for Trump on this particular one. 5G is one of those agenda items. And so I understand why he signed it. Uh, Cornyn from Texas 
was the one that proposed a bill for him to sign it. So you know he's another sellout. So it's time for him to go. Uh, I'm from Texas, so I, I voted against him in the primary, and I thought that would maybe that would do good, maybe it wouldn't, I don't know. But apparently, you know, as elections go, now we understand better. <laughs> you know, uh, so it's, it's one of those things to watch out for. Uh, another person that was interested in Nikola Tesla was Marana, was Marana, Marana Abramovich. We remember her from uh, Hillary Clinton's emails when they came out in, what, 2016, 2015? And uh, we learned about her and uh, spirit cooking then, you know, because they're all Satanists, all cultists. And she uh, did like a, some sort of ritual over uh, Nikola Tesla's ashes. And his ashes are stored in like a golden globe looking thing, you know, uh, a sphere. And uh, then makes me think of when Trump went to Saudi Arabia and he uh, was with them and they all put their hands on this little sphere, a globe, it lit up and uh, it was like some sort of weird uh, scene. It made me think of the evil orb from that movie Heavy Metal, if anyone saw that animated movie. Also, if anyone's interested, uh, if I remember liberals complaining about uh, when Khashoggi was killed by the Saudi people, and uh, they said, this is, you know, typical Trump, he's not going to do anything about it because he's in the bed with the Saudis, which in that sense it was true. Uh, all of our leaders are. I mean, they're all in it together. And Hillary, too, and whoever else, the Bushes, uh, it doesn't matter. So, one thing to look into on that was, was it back in 2015, 2016, somewhere in that, before the election, uh, his first election. He was trying to buy a yacht, or maybe he did actually buy it, but they're from some Saudis. There's one family, I forget the name, uh, may have started with an A. I'm just going off of memory right now. And then another family that was involved was the Khashoggi's. So there's almost a direct connection there. Uh, I'm not sure exactly what it is. It'd probably be worth a deeper dive if someone wanted to look into that. Uh, but maybe that's why. It, anyways, there's that Khashoggi and Trump and Saudi connection there again. Kennedy was an anti-establishment candidate. He was shot. Reagan was an anti-establishment candidate. He was shot. Trump was a... Oh, wait, he wasn't shot. Oh. <laughs> what about Gab? That could be the next Twitterverse for him. But people are still making excuses for him. They may say once again... He's uh, surrounded by bad advisors. Is this the same guy that could hire all the right people for all his real estate deals and projects? But now all of a sudden he doesn't know how to hire anyone? Okay. That doesn't make sense. Being a part of Gab is not a part of the plan. There's something larger at work here. By now I would hope most people understand that the letter 17 movement was a government operation but yet it's still being pushed on youtube i saw some videos regarding it still and it, for some reason uh it's still being pushed but if other uh youtubers out there uh mention the letter 17 then they get a, a strike or a ban or a little bitty notation under their video or something like that but yet the videos that are actually a part of this don't get any of that. That tells you something. It's still there. So for my uh, fellow pro-Americans, watch out for these uh, government-run uh, patriot movements. I think they're probably going to try to start others. I think there already is one now. I forget the name of it. So just watch out for this stuff, please. And what about all those people that have suffered and died as a result of these shots? If Trump were the hero the pro-Americans claim he is, he would have come out already and said, hey, please stop taking these shots. It was a mistake for me to push warp speed. But that's not what he's doing. He's still pushing it. Just like Ivanka pushed the shots when uh, Trump was in office, saying you should get your six-month-old to get the shot. 
For full disclosure, I did vote for Trump on the second time because like everyone else, I'm still hoping for the best. But at some point, we have to be realistic. We must be careful with our leadership. It must not be so centralized. It should be decentralized. What concerns me is that we may pick a leader and he's there to deliberately uh, lead us to destruction, not victory. I'm sure I could keep going, uh, but I have other stuff to do. I do consider myself a pro-American and I bring all this stuff up because I don't want my uh, fellow pro-Americans to fall for yet another trap. Uh, we live in deceptive times right now. 